Hi there, welcome to The Nofer Show. I'm Nicholas McDonald, your host. In just a few seconds, we'll be talking to Captain W.E. Johns. Come on down, Captain. Hi there, how are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. How are you, sir? Oh, I'm good, thanks for asking. So, Captain, where were you born? I was born on October 24th, 1895, in Herefordshire, England. I see. And did you fight in World War I? I fought in King's Own Royal Regiment at Gallipoli, and then I transferred into the Royal Machine Gun Corps. Hmm, interesting. So, uh, when did you learn to fly? In 1917, I transferred to the Royal Air Force and learned to fly. I was teaching other people to fly in England and crashed my airplane three times. Once in the ocean, once on the beach, and once by flying into another pilot's house after I shot off my propeller. I then went to France and was part of a bomber squadron. Then I got shot down and spent the rest of the war in a German prison camp where they don't feed you anything but sausage and sauerkraut. Most disgusting. I see. And um, so when did you start to write? I started writing in the 1920s. First I wrote stories for airplane magazines. Then I started writing adventure stories. I see. So, uh, how many books have you written? I've written 160 novels. Almost all the novels are about flying. I see. I see. So, uh, how many Biggles books? I've written 100 Biggles novels, plus short stories and Biggles history books. I see. I see. So, uh, where did you get the idea for Biggles and his friends? All the characters in my books are named after people I've served with in the Army or the Air Force. Biggles is named after Air Commander Wigglesworth, my old boss. Ginger is the nickname of one of my friends in the Air Force. All the other characters are a combination of people I've met. I see. So, uh, where'd you get the idea for Biggles Flies East? I got the idea for this book when I was serving in the Royal Machine Gun Corps in Egypt, before I joined the Royal Air Force. There was a German spy that everyone was trying to catch, and that's what gave me the idea. I see. So tell me, Captain, what's this book about? In the book, Biggles is asked by a German spy to be a traitor to the British. So Biggles becomes a double agent and works for the Germans in Egypt. But really, he's trying to find out about a German super spy who is only known by the code name El Sharif. Biggles investigates and finds out the spy's name is von Stahlheim. Biggles and he get into a dogfight and Biggles shoots him down. Biggles doesn't know that von Stahlheim doesn't really die and comes back in data books. I see. So, tell me, I think this is what all of our viewers have been wondering about. What was your favorite part of this book? The most fun part of the book to write and my favorite part was the dogfight parts. I see. Well, thank you for talking to us. Um, we'll be right back with a clip from the movie right after these few messages. Thank you. You've seen him in Biggles Flies East. Now, an even more exciting book written by Captain W.E. Johns. In this book, Biggles Fails to Return. This book includes World War I Friends and World War I Action and much, much more. You can buy this book in any local bookstore. Thank you. And, if you need bloodstains out of your German uniform, remember, Tide. They'll get them out the first time. Thank you. Oh, what a beautiful day to be flying. I hope no one tries to chase me or shoot me down. Patrolling, patrolling. I love to go patrolling. Hey, what's that off in the distance? It's von Stahlheim, my arch nemesis. What is that behind me? Is that Bigglesworth? I am going to shoot him down. Where did he go? I've got you now, Biggles. Bang, 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 bang. Ah. Uh. <laughs> oh no, he's coming up behind me. I've got you now, you Englander Schwein. Not on my watch. Oh no! He shot me down! I'm going to crash and burn! Yeah! 
Good will always triumph over evil. Ha 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 ha. Hi there. I hope you enjoyed my show. Now, kids, you have to remember, violence is never the answer. If you're playing a video game or reading a book, just be sure. When you, if you're in a fight, use your words. Thanks for watching my show. Have a good day. Thank you.